Hey guys, happy December. Oh man, Florida is cooling down. It's just crisp out and people are decorating their houses and the Christmas trees are going up. It's Christmas time. We've even gotten a frost a couple of mornings. Yes. Below freezing. So today we're going to cross the bridge over into Destin. But um, we're not going to be going to the beaches. It's a little too chilly for that now. The water's getting really cold. But um, they have a Christmas tree lot over there. So we're going to go and pick out a great Christmas tree for our house. Instead of finding Christmas trees right around here, we have to go over the bridge onto the island um, over in Destin to get a Christmas tree. It's amazing that a whole year has gone by since we first got back from Indonesia. Yeah. This morning before we came out here, I tried to call the Christmas tree man and let him know that we were gonna come stop by, but he didn't answer his phone, so we thought, eh, we'll just come anyways. And um, here we are, this is the lot, but it is empty. I mean, just totally deserted. So I guess we've come too late, or maybe they haven't started, but there are no Christmas trees. So we'll go to plan B. I guess we're going to Home Depot next. <laughs> Um, I see, I see some Christmas trees. You got one tree at least. This is a good sign, we're getting closer for sure. This, not old, but it's getting there, you know what I mean? It's not bright green. This is good news, supposedly there's some more Christmas trees up here in a large tent. Whoa, it smells like pine in here. This is awesome. What do you guys think? It's kind of small, don't you think that's some? I think Ken. Yeah. It's a little bit taller. A little skinny. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's not really full eye. There's a little spot right there, bald spot. We can these kind of bigger ones. Huh? I don't know. Oh, this one's really nice. It looks really nice, actually. It's all full out. It's kind of short, but it's okay. It's nice and thick. I, th I think the ones over there look more plumed out and full. Give me a tutorial. Yeah, that one has, Keen, yours has kind of a bare spot on it. Let's go for Asher's. Merry yep, Merry Christmas. Christmas. Mission accomplished. We finally found a Christmas tree. We've driven all over town, but um, yeah, finally here at Home Depot. Fun parts ahead, we get to decorate it, that's gonna be awesome. Put some lights around it, so. Yeah, it will be fun. Got the lights up, and all I have to do now is um, wait until it gets dark, which happens pretty fast in the winter time. It's also getting really chilly out, so I'm gonna go inside and get warm. Oh man, there is nothing like a beautiful December afternoon on the bayou. It is chilly, not as chilly as up north, but chilly enough to keep us in jeans and sweatshirts. And just the, the feeling of Christmas is in the air. And all week long we've been talking about getting this Christmas tree. And I think the boys got a tree, so I'm excited to set it up. Our tree is back in the house. It looks perfect. Yeah. It's a little bit small, but actually it fits into this corner nicely. The... So most of our ornaments are left back in Wanoland. Oh, um, we had these great ornaments. Dad actually got it when he was in, lived in Germany when he was like five years old. So like these cool like, you know, like wooden carved angels and stuff, but um, those are all back in Wano. But we do have some ornaments here. Just some like some classic, you know, little balls and like icicles and stuff. So we'll put those on with some nice lights and it'll be awesome. We're boiling some water for tea. Man, time to decorate the Christmas tree. And it's a little small, but you know, I think it'll do just, just fine. 
play Bing Crosby Christmas music. Yeah, it's really sad that mom and dad left on a trip just this morning before we get the Christmas tree up. So we're a little bit late this year. And yeah, it's gonna be weird decorating the tree without mom and dad. But um, yeah, we'll have, we'll have to make do. Oh yeah, beautiful. Nice. Christmas trees, they've always been a tradition for as long as I can remember in my family. And even though we grew up overseas in Indonesia, in a country that doesn't do Christmas trees, um, my family always had a Christmas tree. And my parents, it was, it was one thing that they could do to um, keep part of our American culture and tradition alive in our house. Man, our Wano friends, they thought we were crazy because here we were living in a virgin rainforest surrounded by thousands and thousands of trees. And for whatever reason, we decided to put one up in our house, cover it with ornaments, and you know, it, it's just bizarre. So um, when you're living in a completely different culture, it gives you kind of an, an appreciation, I guess, for what you do. And it allows you to really reflect on your own culture in, in a new light and maybe brings out some of the some of the bizarreness of your own culture. So we really saw that living um, interior all those years. But tradition is tradition. And here in America, we especially are obsessed with the Christmas season and we love our Hallmark movies, uh, Santa Claus, Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer, just all the, all the great Christmas music that accompanies the season. It's just a great festive time. And I know we're all looking forward to celebrating this year especially since it's been a rough year. So, so Christmas is a special time, but it's so easy to get caught up in all the traditions. And I see that especially here. Back in Indonesia, in the village, it was a little different. We didn't really have uh, just all the hype around us regarding Christmas, but here in the States especially, it's, it's everywhere, you can't miss it. And so um, amidst all the traditions and all the fun, it's really easy to get sidetracked and just kind of overwhelmed and really miss out and forget about what Christmas is really about. Christmas is not about Santa Claus. It's not about Rudolph, Bing Crosby, or Snow, or Hallmark movies. It's about celebrating the birth of our Savior, Jesus Christ, who was born into this world as a human baby in a little backwater called Nazareth to Two poor parents, Mary and Joseph, and that baby would grow up to be the man Jesus, who we know as our Savior, as the Messiah, who bore our sins on the cross, making a way for us to be made reconciled with God once again, bearing our, our, our penalty. The wages of sin is death, and yet Jesus took that upon himself, and through his perfect life and perfect death, made a way for sinners to be reconciled to him and to have hope, have joy. And so during this time um, that we celebrate Christmas, that's what it's all about. And as, as believers, if we're Christians, if, if, if our faith is in that Jesus, this is an exciting season because we get, to, we get to reflect anew on what God has done, this miraculous thing through His Son, Emmanuel, God with us, sending the Savior to be born into the, into the world. And so, yeah, traditions are great, but they don't, they don't compare to the true meaning of Christmas. And you can celebrate that wherever you are in the world. Whether you're here in the States, or celebrating as a Christian in some remote jungle tribe where you don't have Christmas trees, you don't have Santa Claus, you don't have all the, the hype and the tradition, you can celebrate because you understand the true meaning. So during the season of celebration and just preparation, giving gifts, it's, essential that we keep that in the forefront of our minds and that we share that excitement and that good news with our neighbors and our families. I think that's so, so crucial. That's the kind of beautiful star. We didn't have one, but um, now we do. Perfect. All right, let's see it. There we go. <laughs> Voila. That's beautiful. <laughs> Ta-da. Merry Christmas, everyone. <laughs> Merry Christmas. Oh, it's pretty... It's really crazy. Oh, maybe it is. No, it's a cub. It's that's small. a good size bear. 
Well, our neighbor came back home this evening and there's uh, these two big bears in the driveway. Um, this guy, he's a male. He's hanging up in our magnolia tree. Super close. He actually seems to be pretty friendly. He's just just watching us. Uh, he's slightly smaller. He might be like a, a cub. But the big mom's, she's over there on our neighbor's fence. Massive. To be honest, it kind of tastes me bad to growing up in the jungle with um, tusses and tree changers. We would go out in the jungle a lot at nighttime and kind of similar situation, find them in trees like this and you know, shine the light up there and their eyes would reflect back. And so we just watch them like this. Oh, he's kind of cute, them. man. Everybody has a trash yeah. 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 It's pretty cool because down here in Florida, it's a big fishing community, a big hunting community. And yet the rules and regulations they have in place really um, promote and benefit conservation. So even in this rural neighborhood, um, we just see an explosion of wildlife. Um, since we've been here in our little townhouse, we've seen raccoons and possums um, on a fairly regular basis. And um, there's never a lack of fish out in the ocean. And um, these bears too, this year we've, we've seen tons of bears and um, never this close before, but uh, we've known that they've been around the neighborhood and it's cool just to see how, yeah, you protect the wildlife and um, you can, oftentimes get pretty close to it. But also, such large animals as bears um, definitely do deserve some respect. So we're, we're, keeping our, we're keeping our space. We're giving them plenty of space, keeping our boundary. We won't get too close because um, as cute and cuddly as it is, it could definitely do some physical damage if he got angry enough. Well, as long as we're like right here in this vicinity, I don't think he really wants to come down. So I suppose we're gonna try to kind of secretly watch over here from our entryway and um, hopefully he'll think we're gone and he'll come down and we can get a closer look at him coming down the tree and then maybe going to join his mother. So we're gonna walk over here. Really cold night. There he is. Hey neighbor. You got a bear on your porch? It's a good thing the neighbors are sleeping. Thanks for watching The Wild Way, and double thanks if you've already liked or subscribed to our YouTube channel. If you want to get more involved with us, visit our Patreon website. Hit the link below to learn how you can become a member of our Patreon team and partner with us. Also, you'll get awesome benefits, like exclusive vlog videos, like Wild Brothers merchandise, and a lot more.